Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Taking a look at the term Tate, or going by the proper way to say it in Japan, Tate, I'll be giving you a basic explanation of what it is as well as showing off a few examples of how it can be utilized in your home, amongst other things. So, to get right into it, Tate is a term generally used for arcade games that utilize a monitor that's taller than it is wide, one of a vertical orientation, essentially. This was actually a very common trait in arcade games of the 70s and 80s, however, as time went on, more and more games moved to horizontal setups. Today, the vertical orientation is generally reserved for the shoot 'em up genre. Many of these arcade games of the day would naturally receive the console treatment. Due to the horizontal standard of home televisions, however, many of them would be cut back in various ways in order to compensate for the lack of vertical screen space. For those that enjoy the arcade originals, the experiences were often less than authentic. In the mid-90s, however, this would be somewhat remedied by games giving the player the option to rotate the screen 90 degrees. The player could then rotate their television to experience the game in the way it was meant to be played. Oftentimes, warning screens would accompany these options, however, as not all televisions are capable of doing this without damage. For anyone interested in trying it, I do suggest checking the web to see if your TV is likely to have a problem. After you find you're able to, I do highly recommend flipping it if you can, especially if you're like me and you prefer the closest to authentic arcade experience as possible. Now to give you an example of Tate or Tate mode at your house, here's an example of me playing right in 4 on the 360. It's in the default mode to fit my horizontal screen, and you'll notice the playfield is rather tiny. While it's playable, it's extremely difficult to be efficient with dodging once the game begins to get chaotic. Everything also looks scrunched up and the whole thing doesn't seem to be as sharp as it should be. Now with that, let's go ahead and rotate my TV. My uh, 25 inch is a little heavy, sure, but it's not too bad. And turning it on... Ah uh, yeah, much better. Now if you don't want to move your TV or you don't want to risk damaging your television, you can always do it a different way. For you guys to do a lot of emulation with MAME on your computer, another alternative is purchasing a rotatable stand for your LCD monitor. I personally use a NeoFlex stand and it actually works pretty well. Rotating the screen is quick, simple, and it proves to be far less of an effort than lifting my television. As a quick comparison, here's Espigaluda being run in MAME before I rotate my screen. And here it is being played in Tate mode. It's definitely far, far better with everything being easier to see. For you guys that want to try this method, one thing I'd like to note though is that I recommend doing this with a 4x3 monitor. I have a widescreen 22 inch LCD that's either 16x9 or 16x10, and playing games Tated in MAME leaves small black bars in the top and bottom of the screen, keeping the game's original aspect ratio. It's still far better than playing it without rotating my screen, however, it's something that should still be noted for those with a similar screen as myself. So with all that said, you should now have a general idea of what Tate is and how to implement it in your home if you want to. However, before we actually wrap things up completely here, I'd like to take note of some specific platforms that manage to implement Tate in their own way. Now, first and foremost, the classic Vectrex system housed a vertical monitor inside the console itself. This provided a very close to arcade experience. Later down the line, Atari's own handheld system, the Lynx, would feature games that could be played in a vertical fashion as well. The ports of Klax and Raiden were prime examples here. In the late 1990s, Bandai's Wonderswan handheld would also be designed to be flipped in a vertical manner when needed, and Gunpei is a perfect example of a game that takes advantage of this. Even the most modern handhelds today, such as the PSP and the DS, both have a handful of titles that take advantage of Tate. Capcom Classics Collection on the PSP has a few games that take advantage of it, and the popular Brain Age titles on the DS also play in a vertical manner. Alright, wrapping things up, Tate is great for arcade purists like myself. For those that are serious about their shmups as well, Tate is almost mandatory. Of course, not everyone's capable of doing it, and for those, I hope I've been able to give you a better idea of what Tate is and how it can be implemented. With that guys, thanks for watching. To any of you guys new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I'll be back with some new content soon, and until then, take it easy.